Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my wash day. I just completed it from start to finish and I wanna show you guys what I do. I have incorporated the best game changer of life to my wash day routine and that is this hair turban. It is by a brand called Aquas. I absolutely love it. I do have a video, a previous video that I did a review and I go deeper into like the materials, what it does, how it helps with water damage and how to prevent it, what water damage is in fact and all of those details. I'll link that video over here if you guys want to check it out. I'll leave the link down below. You can find this at Ulta and Sephora. So I'm definitely picking up a second one during the sale. I highly recommend you guys trying this out just because it has become a game changer in my life. And um, yeah, I wanted to come back and show you guys my wash day routine. This video is sponsored by Aquas. I wanted to come back with my wash day anyway and they were like, hey, can we be a part of your wash day? And I was like, absolutely, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm going to show the hair turban, so why not partner up with Aquas on this video? So without further ado, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and let's get into the video. So when I'm in the bathroom, the first thing that I do is bring everything I need to the bathroom. I mean, my cleansing conditioner, my pre-poop, my oils, anything that I'm going to use for wash day, I want to make sure that it's in the bathroom, my head turban, anything that I'm using for deep conditioning, all of my tools, because I don't want to make a dripping trail of product and water all throughout the house. So I bring everything there. And then I also bring a product to cleanse and wash my face. I want to do this because you won't believe how much makeup is around the hairline. So I will start off with a clean face before putting any deep conditioner or anything on my face because I want to make sure it, it's clean all around. So clean face, then go in for the wash day routine. So now I am wetting my hair. I want to make sure that I do that. I usually do, you can use warm water. I still use cool water throughout the whole thing, but I use, I just, or lukewarm water. I try not to use hot water because it can dry your hair. I'm doing my pre-poo method or my pre-poo routine right here and I am using the Wash Day Wonder. It is a new product. I have not done a full review on it yet, but it's coming. But I'm trying out the product today. But um, I've used it a couple of times before and I will just go ahead and let you know that it has a ton of slip. It is. It does the job and it has cut my pre-poo routine in half because usually pre-poo, pre-pooing is a chore because you allow the oils to sit on your hair and somewhat detangle and sometimes I still have tangles. This actually absorbs into the hair. I'm putting it mid shaft because I'm going to go in with another product but as you can tell I'm just allowing raking my fingers through and this is actually how I finger detangle section it off and now I'm going in with my cleansing conditioner. Now, if you notice, I'm putting that at the root and I am massaging, I'm sectioning my hair. I'm using the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence. It's a cleansing conditioner and my hair tends to really love the no foam or nothing with a foam. Although sometimes I use it for, you know, purifying or clarifying my hair. So after that, I just rinse all of it out and the next step is deep conditioning now that we have some clean hair and as you can see I still have it somewhat sectioned and I want to clean up at the same time but you also see me taking stray hairs off of my hand and you want to do that throughout your wash day process because you don't want it to actually retangle the hair I'm using Diva Curl Melt into moisture. If you notice, I've used three Diva Curl products and that's because I just feel like you do get optimal results using the same products, especially uh, when I wash uh, my hair. Now, I don't do it all the time. I'm not gonna do that even with my lock method. But as you can tell, I am detangling and I'm detangling still and I am applying the product at the root first and then going to, I'm sorry, at the end first and then going to the root 
It's really important because your ends need the mo most moisture. And then I'm going to put on a shower cap. I'm going to put on my hot head cap, which is a heatless way to deep condition. And then I'm going to use my aquas head turban. Now I love using this because it generates even more heat and it leaves, it keeps everything into place because I have a problem with sometimes the shower cap and everything shifting off my head. I'm going to keep this on for about 30 minutes to an hour. Then I'm going to come back and take everything down and y'all it's like butter. Let me show y'all. Look, when your hair, when your hands can just rake through that, it's like butter, y'all. So I love heatless because I mean I don't want to. I don't like being a dryer. Do y'all? <laughs> so I keep the twist in and I rinse out my hair in sections. So I'll detangle. I'll make sure all the water is out. I want to make sure all that product is out and. This one especially because it contains glycerin and y'all know we say glycerin is the devil. Yes, it's, at least it's for my hair. Y'all know that's my motto. But I wanna make sure all of the deep conditioning is out of my hair and I want to deep condition and rinse out my hair with cool water. That is what I do. So each section will be rinsed with cool water and I wanna make sure that I get all of it completely out. So I will rinse a couple of times out of my hair and I rinse until the water is clear. Like anything, like if I'm washing my hair, anytime I rinse, I wanna rinse until the water is clear. I don't want it milky. I don't want product, you know, when you wash your hair, product buildup, you will see the, the color of the water will change. You definitely want to rinse until you see everything clear when it rinses out of your hair. That's how you're gonna tell that it is, you have a clean head. So yeah, just rinsing everything out. And then we are going to go in and do the lock method. Now on wash day, I do the lock method. There is LCO, there may be some other methods. I think those are the major ones. So if you can see, I am applying oil on soaking wet hair. Now let me say this, oil is not a moisturizer. It actually seals in the water. Now where the moisture, because my hair turban, when you see me put it on, it's gonna wring out the water. So I'm trying to lock in moisture here. If you notice, I'm not going in with any other product than the oil because I want to make sure that, because I have high porosity hair, that oil, that water is actually, actually trying to escape and I want to trap it. So that's my way of doing that and I've noticed that I get less frizz this way. So now that the oil is all throughout my head, I go back over and I apply my leave-in now, which is the cream, and I put in the styler. So again, I am detangling as you can tell, and I am taking all of those stray hairs off of my hand because I don't want my hair to retangle and get like, you know, unnecessary st single strand knots or my hair to break because I have, you know, excess hairs that should not be there. And I rake my gel and the products in it's like I'm still detangling. So I wanna show you guys how it looks and just make sure that I'm getting every strand. I will go and do some you know, small finger coiling. And then I also section off my hair of how it's going to be styled. It's important to do that. And then I, that moving back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. I had to do that y'all. I'm finger coiling too, but that whipping back and forth, <laughs> moving back and forth, it actually allows my hair to clump a little bit. And now I'm gonna put it on the head turban. Now I used to air dry, but this I am totally on board for because it has reduced my drying time. I've gotten less frizz and it allows me to do whatever I need to do and my hair is just not dripping all over my shirt or whatever I have on. And this has been a lifesaver, y'all. 
That's why I had to find another way of using it. But I do have a full review on this. I will link it down below. This is the Aquas Head Turban. I love it. It is a must have in my routine. So this is how my hair looks after I take it off of my head. It's still damp, but if you notice, a lot of curl de definition. And that is my wash day routine, you guys. So a couple of tips before I head off of the video. Tips for wash day, pick a wash day. I usually do my wash days on Sundays like this. It's very laid back and relaxed and I can take my time. You really want to take your time on your wash day. You don't want to rush through it because your hair will feel the effects of it because when you're rushing through, a lot of times you'll get breakage. <sighs> oh no, you didn't. I do deep condition every time I have a wash day. So make sure you have everything out. It's going to help you from going back and forth and you gotta have everything there. So make sure you get all your materials up front, get your shampoo, your conditioner, your deep conditioner, your styling products, anything that you're gonna use, your deep conditioning cap, get everything and bring it to wherever you're going to wash your hair at. And don't forget to also just apply your products Use your hair turban. You know, the hair turban, I'm telling you, this Aqua's hair turban has changed my life. A lot of times we dread wash day is because it takes forever for our hair to dry. So don't use a towel like this. This is a no-no because this will not only cause frizz, this one reduces frizz. It has a couple of different things. Like I said, if you want to check out that video, definitely do it. But I just wanted to give you some quick tips. I am going to come with another video of do's and don'ts on wash day. So don't forget to remind me of that video. I know you guys are, but I wanted to show you guys my wash day. So yeah, thanks so much for watching you guys. Subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next video. Bye loveies.